Here are some tips that help me get published. Tip one, make sure your manuscript is complete. It seems obvious, but obviously you need to have a manuscript complete in order to submit. Once your manuscript is completed, go ahead and proofread it and make sure it's also edited. Uh, check for obvious grammatical errors. Unless you hire a professional editor, you'll need to probably do this several times. But if you do want to um, hire a professional editor, you can look for place, uh, places online like Fiverr or Upwork where you can hire freelancers to edit your manuscript. Once your manuscript is completed, you've proofread it, it's been edited, now you can move on to selecting and knowing your genre. This is important when submitting your manuscript to agents because once you know what genre you are, your book falls under, you can then submit to the appropriate agent. Um, this is important because you want to define whether your book is, for example, fiction, is it nonfiction? Is it romance, a self-help, is it fantasy, is it science fiction, is it new age, contemporary? All these matter because it will help you in your submittal process and also help you narrow down what publishers, what agencies to submit to because specific agencies and specific agents require and are looking for certain genres. Next, once you've submitted, once you know what genre you are, next, you wanna know your target audience. Knowing your target audience helps also in submitting your book. Once you know your target audience, you're able to determine whether your book falls under the category of preteen, teenager, is it a young adult book, is it for a mature audience, or are you writing a children's book? Again, this helps when submitting because then you'll know what publishing agency and what literary agency to uh, submit your manuscript to. Once you have all your information compiled and completed, you can move on to the next step. All right, step, guys, so once research. you figured out what your genre is and once you figured out your target audience, you can go ahead and begin a simple Google search. In the Google search, you're going to look for um, the genre that's specific to what you're writing. So, for example, if you're writing, let's say, a fantasy fiction novel, you're going to go ahead and put in a search in the Google uh, search engine box for, let's see, literary agents for fantasy novels I already have it in my search engine box so what you'll see will pull up right now is for example there is 22 literary agents now accepting science fiction and fantasy submissions so there's a list here you can scroll down and go to more items to see the complete list which I would recommend so I would recommend um, submitting to all of the agents that are looking for um, fantasy science fiction, if they um, if the submission like guidelines go along with the criteria of what your book has, I would just go ahead and submit to um, all the agents, you know, for a better chance of getting um, your book um, submitted. So if you just go through the list on here, for example, they each have submission guidelines because when you submit your manuscript, each and every agent and publishing company um, have different guidelines they're looking for. So for example, we'll just click on this one and they will go ahead and tell you their submission guidelines. They have a list of do's and don'ts. Um, so you just go through the list and make sure that you know, you're providing all the informations that, they, um, that they're looking for. And also right here, they'll let you know, please submit to how to submit to the agent. They'll provide the email address and you go ahead and submit to the agent. Um, by This one's asking for by email. So that's what I would do. So I would just go ahead and just make sure that you're looking through all the do's and don'ts, which is very important because if you don't follow the submission guidelines, an agent automatically would open your email and just automatically reject your your manuscript based upon not following the guidelines so that's very important um you can also click on and uh, something that i like to do is click on meet our agents typically on the the website or the web page most of the um publishing agent profiles uh, provide the agents and you can just click on anyone and they will tell you a little bit about themselves and what they're looking for. So I recommend also reading through those. Um, guys, just know this is this is a lot of information and it is it can be time consuming, especially if you wanna to submit to um, all the agents on the list, but it is very beneficial to go through each agent. That way you know 
for sure the agent that you are submitting to is looking for the genre or the storyline that you are um, providing. So that's one tip that I definitely would recommend doing. Like I said, it can get tedious, but I would just go ahead and, and do that. And also too, what's um, worth checking out is when you go back to the main list that provides the 22 literary agents, um, they also have a list of manuscript wish lists. So that will tell you what an agent is looking for and you just go ahead and scroll through, read through what they're looking for um, in case you may have another book that you're in the process of writing or also completed that you maybe didn't think you're ready to um, publish yet and maybe you just need to fine tune it a little bit. They will also tell you what they're looking for. This agent um, for fiction, looking for action adventure, children's commercial fam family saga, fantasy. As we mentioned, so if you were submitting a fantasy novel as I mentioned before, you could go ahead and submit to this agent because that's a good choice because he's looking for uh, fantasy novels in addition to the other ones listed here. So guys, that's just the tips for you know doing a Google search and finding the agents for your genre. And then after that, we'll discuss the next step. Once you've selected your agent or narrowed down the agent you want to submit your manuscript to, and after reading the submission guidelines, and making sure you're abiding by the do's and don'ts, uh, you're ready to move on to the query letter. Now, a query letter, that is basically, for those who've done resumes before, a query letter is basically your cover letter, the cover page. It's the introduction of quick, a quick overview of your novel condensed into one page. Um, so for query, we're gonna go ahead and just use this, um, this web page that we were on earlier that provided do's and don'ts and I'm going to go ahead and use this one since it has query tips that they provide on their web page for submission purposes. So if you guys just go ahead and um, read their query tips guideline, basically they tell you things that um, they would recommend that you do when submitting your query to um, them specifically. Now you can follow this one since they have specific tips that they um have on their web page, but not all web page or websites or agents that you're submitted to provide this. So you basically, you just want to know, get have a quick overview of what a query is. So a query is just basically, as it says here, it's your pitch. It's a paragraph or two summarizing your novel or nonfiction project that will hook basically the agent and whoever's reading your email and um, submission right away. So as remember guys, when I pointed out to you the reason why it's important to know your genre and um, your audience right here, it says, I don't know if you guys can see, if, you, if I zoom in, it says, please include genre, your word count, and comp titles. So uh, in addition to that too, with your query letter, it's also, you're gonna include like a short bio of your credentials, your expertise on the topics. Um, don't worry guys, if you don't have any, or your new writer or beginning. Like I said, I started out when I published my first book and submitted my first uh, manuscript. I didn't have any um, you know, publishing um, background behind me. I was doing freelance writing, so I did put that in my um, query letter. But for those who um, just, like I said, is not even a freelance writer and you're just starting out, um, don't you know, pay a mind to that one. You can just include in your bio like a quick introduction of yourself. So guys, I know you're curious to see like what is a query letter look like. So I'm just gonna go ahead and provide you one that I have, for example. So I'm gonna go to one of my web page. Let's see if it's here. Call that this one. And if you see right here, I provided a quick overview of what my query letter looked like. And this is the actual one that I um, provided to the agency when I was submitting my, um, my novel. So this is actually, so you guys are seeing the actual query letter that I provide, I think though there's one paragraph missing, one sentence missing, but basically this is, you know, and of course I changed the date to update it for you guys. So what you wanna have, have right here is, you know, title it, query letter, fiction, you need to provide your name, your address, your country, if you know, if you know US, in Canada, the UK, um, put your email address, and then go ahead and date it. I went ahead, like I said, and just updated it with adding today's date um, as of filming. So, but you guys can put whatever date that you are submitting it. So if you're gonna submit it um, next week, you put that date. If you're gonna submit it next month, you make sure you put in that date. Or if you're gonna um, submit it 
you know, tomorrow, you just make sure you put the, the correct date. Um, also, if you want to be more formal, you can go ahead and add the um, the publisher or agent that you're submitting this to there if it if you want to. Um, you don't have to, but if, like I said, if you want to be extra formal and um, even more so professional, you can go ahead and add the, um, the agency that you are also submitting to. And you can also add the, um, the agent that you're also submitting specifically to. Like if it's just a general uh, email submi submission, you don't have to, you just put um, to agent. But if there's a specific agent that you are submitting to, you can just add their name, you know, right here. Um, but yeah, just wanted to show you guys just a quick overview. Um, you wanna go ahead, like they said, com um, add about one or two sentences to give a quick overview of the, um, of your novel, you want to basically grab them. It's like your hook, it's your pitch. It's like basically your elevator pitch. This is what the agent is reading for the first time. Remember, they're reading about a thousand submissions a day. So yours has to stand out, yours has to grab them and you just entice them, make them want to read more. So if your query letter doesn't have that, they're just going to reject it and pass on and move on to the next. Like I said, remember, they're reading a lot of submissions a day. They're getting so many daily that they have to um, it has to be something that grabs your attention and that excites them to want to read more. So typically, um, when you're submitting to a traditional publishing company, a traditional agency, you have to have a query letter. Um, I don't know, unless, like I said, unless you're submitting uh, unsolicited manuscript, which most of the time they also do uh, request a query letter, but some just, you know, go ahead and have you just submit the entire manuscript. But typically the majority of um, your submission is gonna require query letters. So it is very important to make sure that you guys have this and make sure that you work um, closely on this one. So I tell a lot of people who are asking questions about submitting or um, um, making sure that they, what's appealing to like an agent, I'm telling them that, hey, make sure that your query letter is attention grabbing because a lot of times the, um, agent or company that you're submitting to, they won't even read your manuscript. But oftentimes they want to just see your query letter and then maybe a quick synopsis. But oftentimes this is the first thing they see and if they're not interested, they're not even gonna move on. So you can have the greatest story, the greatest book ever, and you know it's great, but then if you're not putting it into words that grabs the agent's attention, they're not even gonna bother, which is unfortunate, but it is part of, um, the system so just wanted you guys to see a quick overview and then down here like they um they added make sure that you include your genre the title of your book um the word count and also i included that because like i told you guys this book i had previously got uh, published traditionally it was a small publishing company but I did add in there that it was previously published in 2014. Um, I do do have all my rights back to my book um, as of 2017. So I added that in as just like an example if I was resubmitting this to a traditional publisher. And then like I said, a quick overview of bio of who you are. You can add more here if you want. I just keep it short and simple, you know, thank them. And then you go ahead and just add your name right here. Um, again, you can even add something additional like, you know, thank thank you, look forward to uh, hearing back from you if you want to. Like I said, just kept this short and sweet just to give you guys a quick overview of this. And after you have completed your query letter, you've, you've read it through, you've checked it, you feel like it's an attention grabber, it's great. We're going to move on to the next step. Okay, guys, we're almost done. So the next um, step I wanted to show you is a synopsis. So the reason I'm adding this in there is that also too when submitting a manuscript, sometimes an agent, an um, literary agency, wants you to um, not only submit a query, but also include a synapses along with um, a sample of your your manuscript, which could be like one to five pages. But some request synapses, some don't, but for those who do request um, a synapses, which wanted to give you guys um, an example of what a synapses look like in case you need to submit one. So basically, just to quickly go over it here, we just have um, kind of like the query letter before, add your name, email, the title of your book, um, just add synapses, you add your name right here. And basically after that, the synapses is a basically one to two pages. So on a query letter, they want it to be quick, like an attention grabber, a quick um, one pager. Normally the synapses is a little bit longer, but not too long, one to two pages. Sometimes they request three pages. Um, this one just gives you a little bit more details about the um, 
about your manuscript, the books. So it breaks it down more into giving an, an extra incentive to make the agent want to read your book. So you're pretty much going to include the beginning, a little bit of middle, and then an, um, the ending um, in the synopsis. And again, like I said, a synopsis is typically one to two pages. So again, you, you have to condense your entire novel into a quick overview um, providing a little bit more details in the synapses of your book. And like I said, you want to make sure you add attention grabbing, um, paragraphs or sentences that, like I said, makes the, um, the agent interested and wants to read more. So after you do, my, um, synapses here is about a page and a half, two pages. So for those interested in writing a little, um, more than that, I wouldn't recommend doing more than three pages because like I said, typically they want one to two to maybe three pages of a synopsis overview of your of your manuscript. So typically they don't want more than that. So I would just recommend just, you know, making sure you have a good two page. And from there, guys, we're pretty much complete. So once you've gone through everything, once you have, you know, your genre, you know, your target audience, you know which agents, um, you do your Google search, you know what agents or agencies you want to submit to. You have your query letter ready to go. You have your synopsis. Then you're ready to um, finally submit. So after all of that, you can just compile all of those um, into an email. And also, guys, just make sure, I like I mentioned before, make sure you do read the submission guidelines because it's very important. Every agency or agent has different recommendations. And what one agency or one agent um, would, would prefer, another one may not simple things such as they may want the query letter in the body of the email. Some want it in a Word document or PDF. So make sure you guys are looking out for that because like I said, that makes um, a big difference. If you're not doing these things, then like I said, an agent or agency is just going to quickly reject you and just put it in the reject pile. So like I said, if you guys are serious about getting published and you want to go ahead and get your wonderful great novel out there. Make sure you go ahead and follow these tips because like I said, it helped me get my first book published and hopefully it can help you guys too. Thank you guys for joining me. If you have any more questions, uh, please let me know and leave a comment down below and please guys go ahead and subscribe because I'll go ahead and um, probably add more tutorials, go into even uh, greater depth about query letters, synapses, or just giving you overviews of um, manuscript writing altogether. Thank you guys. Go ahead, subscribe. And if, for those who want to check out my ebooks, I will leave the link below. Thank you. Till next time. Bye, everyone.